Hello everybody. Hello my beautiful creepers. How are you? I know it's been a while since I made a video and I'm sorry for that. It's been very busy with life and work, but I'm trying to keep up as best as I can. Luckily, I'm coming at with you. I'm coming at you with another video. And this is just going to be a simple video, but you know, I think it's interesting how some things turn out and how some things ha end up happening that is just kind of weird, but whatever. So, you know, everyone always says, oh, there's someone out there for everyone. There's someone out there for everyone. But in my case, I don't think that's the case because, you know, every, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. Every person I come across, they don't really seem to be into it <laughs> or into me, per se. Um, you know, I've come across people who only really wanted me because they wanted to get to someone else. I've been part of um, a relationship off and on for almost three years, and there were certain things that happened in that relationship that just did not make any sense honestly so like you know usually if you're with someone you're with them because you want to be with them you're with them because they make you happy you're with them because you guys compliment each other but in my case i spent more time being single than in a relationship period and i don't know if there is a person out there for me maybe there is somewhere who knows? But, um, you know, it also doesn't help the fact that every time you go to date someone, you know, they always have like a, head, a hidden agenda up their sleeve. So it's just one of those things that is just kind of annoying because it's like, you know, you're single and you're not, you'll never meet someone. At least you don't think you're going to ever meet someone and so on and so forth. However, you know, I know there's people out there in the world. I can meet the person, like, next week. Who never knows? But, you know, sometimes it just gets annoying always being single. But at the same time, you know, I love being single because it's just like, you know, I can do what I wish. I don't have to answer to anyone. I've been in situations when I've been dating someone for a long time and they cheat on me. That did happen when we were engaged. That did happen. I've been in other situations when the guy was only dating me because he wanted to get with my friend. And that sucks, too. It's just like, I want to meet someone who, you know, is as focused on me as I am them. Who want to get to know me. Who want to talk to me. I want to get to know them. I want to see what they're about. I want to, I want to help them. I want to be with them. And you never know. Sometimes you might meet the guy next Tuesday. You never know what's going to happen. But, um, it's just weird because, excuse me, it's just weird because I'm only 26 and I feel as though that there's so much pressure on people in their 20s to meet the person of their dreams, to get married, to buy a house, to have kids. And I'm nowhere near that. And I'm and I mean it's not what I wish was the situation right now, but obviously, you know, certain things happen. But it's also just weird because it's like a lot of people who I have gone to school with, like high school, is they're married or pregnant or engaged. And it's like I'm happy for you, like don't get me wrong, but I'm just like I wish I can live out my youth first. I want to be able to live out my youth and be happy and get this all out of my system now. So when I do, you know, if I do eventually get married and have kids, you know, I can be a better mom for them. I can show them what I never had because obviously, as everyone knows, my relationship, my relationship with my mother is not that great. So... In the end, I do wish that one day I meet the right person who accepts me for me and who understand who, you know, doesn't want me to get to my friend or who doesn't want to be engaged to me and cheat on me with my friend the next day. So, yes. Um, I think the other issue is, is, you know, there's always these standards that certain people have. And it's just, 
it's like, why? I mean, you know, sometimes the best things happen when there's no plan. Not saying that you shouldn't have a plan in life, because you should, obviously. I'm, I'm starting to get one now. But sometimes things, certain things cannot be planned. That's just how that is. But, you know, it's also just like, you know, just take one day at a time, live day by day, enjoy the time, enjoy the day. You know, you're only young once. You might as well enjoy the best of it when you can. You don't want to end up not... You, you want to end up not regretting things. You don't want to sit there when you're 40 and you want to be like, wow, I wish I really did this when I was in my 20s or I wish I really did that when I was in my 20s. Like in four years, I'm going to be 30. <clears throat> and that's scary to say because I never thought I'd make it to 30. Because <laughs> when, when, you, when, you, when you are young, you literally feel as though you're going to be young forever. Like that's literally how that shit feels. So I'm at a point now when I'm 26 years old, I'm somewhat starting to gather to get my life together, and it it's working out pretty well so far. I still have a way to go, but that's okay. Everyone goes at their own pace. No one's perfect. But yeah, I just wanted to do this quick little video to let you know that I'm still here, I'm still around, and I will be coming at you guys with with another video uh soon maybe in tomorrow who knows all right guys have a good day love you creepers bye